WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 278. You get the NASDAQ up 105. S&Ps are up 33. That's up 1.2% uh, 1 1, 1 in the uh, S&Ps, 1 in the Dow Industrials, and 1.3 higher in the NASDAQ. Gold contract. Gold contract down $12.50, trading at $14.85 an ounce. We have silver down $0.27, cents, $17.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $0.79, cents. $52.80 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down 14 ticks, 129.24. 30-year off a full point and six ticks, 159.30. And you get King Dollar. King Dollar down 147 ticks, trading 98.307. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 108.85. And the pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks. It's going to be pretty cool coming into the next 60 minutes because what you have out here is that you had the banks kick off earnings season. Bottom line, uh, numbers were, were good, basically. Uh, most of the banks are up. Goldman was down. Now they came all the way back. That being said, in this S&P, let me tell you something. This is anemic volume, like in spades. The real question is going to be, is the SPY going to be able to hold 298.74 coming into the close? Because what you have is this. Last Friday, bottom line, you had a good day. You had wide price spread. You just had some decent volume. You were up with 101 million shares. We've only done 31 million shares. 31 million right now is going into the downdraft from August 1st with 142 million. So you are talking not only a contraction of volume, but you're talking about a substantial contraction of volume. We'll see if they hold price and they come in. If they hold price, guess what? You can go higher. You don't hold price, guess what? It's going to have a failure. NDX 100. Now that's going to look like it's going to hold price because you're so much further over. You're almost a, you are a point over the highs of Friday. Highs of Friday was 192.63. We're at 193.69. That being said, dying on the vine, man. You're coming into 63 million shares, and we've only done 17 million. Small caps. We take a look at the small caps out here. What you have with the small caps, which are continue to be the weakest indice, uh, the small caps look like they've already failed. So this is going to be, um, it's not divergence, uh, but bottom line, uh, we'll see how the S&P holds up coming into their close. 151.96, we got to 152, and the small caps can't hold that uh, 151.96. You're trading at 151.30. Stay right there, folks. You can expect some volatility in the next 60 minutes as we close out this trading day. Come right back.